Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Season 15, Episode 6 of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Last we saw, the gang goes to Ireland, and just like we figured would happen from the trailer, I mean, we probably didn't even need the promo to understand that they would somehow screw Dee's chances up. I don't know how much of what they said is true. They said she got drunk in celebration, which is very possible. It's very likely Dee was irresponsible and partied her ass off, but then they gave her sleeping pills put her on a plane, traded her first class ticket for five coach tickets so they could all go, and then they threw her in the back of a car. I mean, hey, if anything, they helped her get there. I mean, I would love it if I just woke up and I was in Ireland. You don't have to deal with the airports and all the traveling and everything like that. I mean, if anything, she should be thankful. She's actually in Ireland and she's there when she needs to be there. She just didn't like the fact that they traded her ticket and that they're all there. And she knows uh, it's likely something's going to happen that's going to ruin everything. And that's exactly what did happen. She gets hit by a car twice and everything is just ruined. As typical fashion of the gang, they're, they're just bad luck all around. The crazy thing was at the end there, the bartender is taking over the role that Dee was supposed to do in the play just happened to be backpacking through Europe. It's not a play. It's a, a movie or something. The obnoxious MILF is the character. So we didn't get to see what the role actually was. We saw the bartender standing there like about to do the role. And the director was like, yeah, we don't got time for you. But then she begged and pleaded, offered sexual favors without needing the sexual favors. He basically said, fine, come back. You could be the abused wife because the bags under her eyes from the blood that Dennis pushed out of the bump in her head. It was like a hematoma in her head. Gross stuff. But at the end, Dennis hits her with the car because she looks one way and not the other. And Dennis is driving down the wrong side of the road because he just doesn't care anymore. D is out again. How bad is D right now? Is it going to be something like D doesn't have a memory of anything or I mean, it could have nothing to do with anything. It could just be like D got hit by a car again, or it could have some relevance. We're going to find out. You guys want to be way ahead on most of the shows, full on edited episodes of all the stuff you see, Patreon link at the end. If you're seeing it on YouTube, we are seasons ahead. Hundreds of exclusives, hundreds of hours. Check the link at the end for Patreon. If not, jump it in. Season 15, episode 6. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Get the stew right 1 p.m. Okay. All right. Charlie's talking about stew just, again. Oh, don't worry. We're uh, safe and sound in Patty's pub. It's, uh, oh, Patty's my God. Look at her. This is how they woke her up the first time. Oh, God. Is she going to get hit by a car again? Oh, my God. What is that? Is that some famous place? I want to go to Ireland one day. The evidence of Frank's involvement in a sex trafficking ring. <laughs> Alleged. Yeah, yeah. Dee Frank is still you know, getting rid of the shredding. Is that not bothering anybody else? No, because we don't have COVID like you do. You're what? sick. No, I don't have COVID. So you look at this, it's all foam. What are you doing? We the run our own bar, they so just I forget, and sometimes I serve myself. I'm just going to squeak mm. by. Do you know a fella in this town goes by the name of Shelly Kelly? Yeah, everybody knows him. He's the uh, local uh, cheesemonger. Can he walk? Does he drool or... Monger, Charlie. She's monger. What? She's monger. Ma, she's... Why are you saying it that way? I wonder if he's cute. Who? Your brother, the cheese monster. Maybe I should just be plowing a bunch of dudes and oh, uh, maybe on, a bunch man. of cheese monsters. I don't know. Stop. Stop. Gay or <laughs> if a man wants to stand, he doesn't go, uh, uh, what would a Dutchman do? Would a Dutchman stand? Oh, you fool. If you want to go out and bang every single guy in Ireland, just go bang every guy in Ireland. You could just find one guy, fall in love, get in a relationship, and shut the hell up about it. Please stop doing that. Oh, yeah, oh. Man. Why don't you just keep track of what we're drinking and charge it to our individual rooms? Well, there's only one room. That's too authentic. Rick, right? yeah, uh, Frank not, is I'm rich. Here. Frank, I'm gonna get a rooms. Castle. I'm going to rent a I'm castle. I'm not staying either. I'm not paying for this beer, okay? Because you can barely swallow this sludge. You ever go to a, a bar, watch how they pour a Guinness. Dee, you bitch, I don't have COVID, okay? Excuse my sister, she's uh, not very good at talking. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Uh-oh, looks like I'll be doing the talking. No. Uh, we would be looking for a castle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Is he all right? <laughs> <laughs> what well, is he doing? Yes and no. You know what it is? He's a mongrel. Bitch. No, bitch. Okay, did you hear that? Yeah, bitch. here he goes. Here he goes. He brutally no. masturbates no. himself. No. Oh, no. yeah. Yeah, he, he does a real number no. on it. Down there, there's barely anything left. That's what he's saying. There's nothing left. 
Hey, bitch. How can I help you? Uh, right. Well, uh, I'm looking for a, a, a young man named Shelly Kelly. I'm Shelly Kelly. Oh my God! What if it's Charlie's dad? Is it Charlie's dad? Is he around? Is he gonna be Charlie's dad? This is the tits. We're pen pals. Sweet Jesus! There's too many of them. Danny DeVito is ruining the moment. Misha, the pink color Charlie. Fiddlem gibbers are live, ach ni fiddlem ye lourd. She the color pin, the ar. No way! I didn't think of that at all. Frank is. Just hooting and hollering the whole time. When you surround yourself with people who aren't as badass as you, I wanted to run through a bunch of pipe, if you know what I mean. Well, you know what I mean. But then I decided okay. I only want one inside of me. The big man. The only man that can fill me up. Well, and his son. And the Holy Spirit. I'll take all three of them at once. I've done that before. It was messy. Totally worth it, though. I loved it. Either oh, way, Father, what I have to say I want to become... A Catholic priest. Uh, perhaps we could talk to more. Oh my God! Is it in the middle of everybody's? Oh my God! He said that. That Damn it. I love Mister X like that. This okay, place this looks place perfect. Like this place is not perfect. Yeah, it it's looks dirty as shit. Sleep here. You want to walk into a castle and have it feel like a Hyatt? Whoa! This place has a dark past. Well, you know it's a castle. D. This was in 2008. Oh, man. <laughs> Two, what? Mother went insane and beheaded all four children. We haven't seen a sheep. The sheep, the sheep. I'm sure they've been passing through. And sure, they've been passing through the Why else would I be coughing? COVID. <laughs> so Charlie, my son, for what it's worth, I did love your mother. We all oh, did. My... A wonderful woman. I banged her, too. This is jammed in there. What do you call it? What is that? My, my family heritage and, and uh, Frank is just good to have some making no, noise. Stop. I need a jackhammer. You're using a screw. You're embarrassing me in front of my dad. I'm just glad that you're sitting here now. Yeah. <laughs> my boy has found me, and now I'm glad. What is happening? A dad I didn't know I had. Tell me the whole bar starts the singing. Chance is better still. The Kelly lads, the Kelly boys, we drink and laugh and make our noise. What the frick is happening? I almost feel like Charlie's imagining this. <laughs> They're like having moments of greatness and Frank's ripping his teeth out. I, I've been assing and effing my way through life for far too long. And instead of looking for pieces of ass, I just look for peace. To truly understand what this life is like, you need to spend some time with someone who's living it. I'd like you to meet someone. Oh God, I knew it. This is like the new guy in the priesthood. Not him, give me somebody else. Father, alone in the seminary with him in the rectory? These are very triggering words. I will S and F him into oblivion. I need more of like a- Rectory oh, and the Gus. seminary. Let me take a look. Gosh. Gus. Yeah, I ain't falling in love with Gus. Give me him. I don't want to get a priest I'll fall in love with, so give me Gus. Poor Gus. Watch he falls in love with Gus. I think Max just a whore. Clearly something's wrong with him. My thing is, if he's got it, how are they not getting it? They're all sharing beers and hanging out and living together. Well, I don't know what to do with her. Oh my god, he's talking to himself. What? You're hearing things, Dee. I think what I'm hearing is fluid fill up your lungs. It has to be tonight. Hey, Dennis, I don't like that. I'm not even talking to you. I'm talking to the castle. Is it talking back? Dee, just go to bed! What is that music? Is that The Shining? Boom, boom. What is that music from? Were you talking to me or the castle? We were talking about beheadings earlier. That's the trouble with heads, isn't it? The hair is not authentic. There's no smell. The hair is on the head. It's better to just remove the head altogether. Silence! <laughs> That's truly terrifying if it wasn't in Always Sunny. I'm gonna call us an ambulance and get us out of here. Yeah. No, no, my phone's dead. Go to the old bell tower and ring the bell. <laughs> oh my god. She's literally going in this haunted. Oh my god, this is great. She's in a haunted castle in Ireland. Oh my god, tell me. What is that? Oh, it's an axe.
I was like, is that the end of the episode? I'll die. What was that? Okay with us staying the night? I said, I'm a cot for you there. Oh, well, we'll take the cot. You both sleep in the cot. What if I poop the bed? Who's going to be in there? Oh. Laugh with me. What? Oh. You might shit the bed. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. There it was, was just... a one time. Good night. Are you going to shit in my bed? I'm waiting for his mom to be like, oh, he's like a freaking nut. <laughs> oh, seed. I should eat it again. It would be funny because I didn't learn my lesson. I think I'm going to go to bed. This is weird. Yeah. Charlie's like. Uh, so you're going to stay in the room. I'll stay in there. All right. Good night. Frank. I can understand him being like weird about all this. He's like realizing everything he's done is like a waste and stupid and he wants to grow up or something. He can't have jokes of poop in Good the night, bed. Charlie. Good night, Charlie. Well, guys, that was actually a sad ending. I was laughing the whole time, but then I realized how upset Frank actually is by all this. He lost his buddy. Frank is old. He's got to be like in his late 60s, early 70s. At that age, you want to like be settled down. You want to have your friends and your routines and stuff like that. So it makes sense that Frank lives the life he does because he's rich. He has money and stuff like that. He doesn't have to work anymore. He's independently wealthy. The rest of them are my age. So they're not at the age yet where they could just settle down and retire. And they're still kind of figuring themselves out a lot later than most people in life would figure themselves out because they just drink all the time and they party and obviously it's our gang of always sunny so they're all insane lunatics on top of all that but i mean this is very common nowadays so we are in ireland i wonder in the comments like i almost want to go back and watch other people's reactions because i can't believe i didn't realize that was possibly going to be his father the fact that they kept saying shelly kelly shelly kelly I was like, all right, his mother is a giant whore. We have established this many times. His mother slept with everybody. They even did it in the episode. Every guy in the Irish bar remembered his mother. And I'm thinking like, all right, so she got knocked up by some guy in Ireland. And she had a kid and that left the kid in Ireland. I'm not thinking at all it could be his father because we've done that like so many times with Frank possibly being the father. I feel like we've had three or four potential fathers for Charlie at this point. I just assume it's never the father, or I don't even think of that anymore. So right now, I'm not even sure whether or not it's his father. What if he calls his mom and his mom is like, that guy's a lunatic. I just let you be pen pals with him because we were all in Ireland. I mean, they did confirm they slept together and everyone in the bar was like, I remember your mom and they all slept together, but it just all seems too good to be true. Charlie is singing like songs about the Kelly boys and stuff like that. How would he have known that song? He just started singing it. They were like literally just creating it and making it up on the fly. And they knew what each other was going to say. Now you could say, well, they're connected because it really is his son. And that's what they're trying to show. So maybe it really is his father. And I'm going to assume it is. But I wouldn't be surprised if like when Mac just called his mother and was like, mom, we're Irish, right? And she's like, nope, I lied. Your father's real name is Vandros and you're Dutch. Charlie's mom could be like, yup, it's just a guy that I hooked up with and I had him think that like you were his son or something like that. So he'd send me money. It's very, very possible. People do that all the time. It could even be financial reasons. It could be just because it could be the guy is lying, but I want to believe it is really his father because I love that actor. I cannot remember the guy's name, but he's in a lot of stuff. He was in Bruges, great Irish actor. He's in everything that needs an Irish cop or some sort of Irish mafia gangster. He's in it usually. I enjoyed the episode overall though, but it looks like Charlie's growing up or at least wants to. Dennis has COVID the whole time, swung an ax at D. The whole time I've been saying, I think this is a misdirect. And Dennis, right before he swung the ax, was saying, I don't have COVID. Now that could be him just in denial. And obviously he's sick. I'm aware he's sick, but maybe something else is wrong with him. And it's one of those things like everyone just is assuming assuming it's COVID because he's coughing and he doesn't look good, but it's something different. And he's getting frustrated that people keep thinking it's COVID. So they're making him look like a raving lunatic, like Jack Nicholson in the shining. I'm pretty sure that was the music from the shining. We heard when he was in the bed with D, but he was being creepy as hell saying weird things. The house the castle they're living in is haunted. And I, everything was set up perfectly. I really enjoyed the episode. I'm curious to see what happens from here because they ended on a cliffhanger. Charlie is in his own bedroom and Frank looks sad and depressed. And D looks like she got her head chopped off with an ax, but I know there's a misdirect in there and they're in a castle in the middle of nowhere. 
I'm going to jump into the next one whenever I can. You guys want to be way ahead, full on edited reactions to this and other shows I do. Patreon link in front of me. If you're seeing it on YouTube, we're as far ahead in full. Seasons ahead on other shows and dozens of exclusives you'll only see on Patreon link in front. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.